Hey guys, welcome back to the Fitness Podcast. I'm Brandon McDevitt. And I'm Serena Gouch. Today, we're going to be talking about SpaceX and the recent Ooh. launch of the Falcon 9. And Doug Let's and Bob. Up Doug in and space. Bob. What a dynamic Ooh. duo. Oh my gosh. So, if you hide under a rock, um, and you still haven't watched this podcast, that's, that's a weird duo. Um, a... It's professionally called CCT Cap Demo Mission Two, um, and what that was is a pri- American privatized company launched humans on American soil to the ISS International Space Station, and that's a first because NASA, which is government ran, is going to Russia previously um, to to go to the ISS. And the first time in nine years, we've launched on American soil. And private companies are the future, man. Private companies work. They just work. Socialists get out of the party because they don't work. Um, you know, there goes the, uh, the comments. <laughs> there goes the comments. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just so excited, man, about the future. I got the full flow stage combustion cycle T-shirt right now. I'm rocking it from Everyday Astronaut, which is actually the engine that just blew up. But we won't talk about that. <laughs> we'll stay away. Um, so what, how did you um, wake up to that day on Wednesday? Let's go, let's go to Wednesday. Because for me, it was, you know, you're counting down the days. So on Wednesday, how did your day rock? All right. I woke up. And I was like, oh my god, today's the day I get to see it. I get to All see right. I get to see this thing launch live into space from the comfort right. of my own home. I don't have to worry about school being in the way. I don't have to worry about anything. I just get to be there and see this. Like that'll be so I'm so pumped. Wake up my day, you know, watch TV, do the average, watch Golden Girls, of course. Have to do that. And, you know, got my coffee, got my tea. We're okay. rocking and rolling. We're doing really good. I'm sitting there, I'm watching it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to happen. And then, you know, they're like, oh yeah, but the weatherman, you know, you know, might, might affect this. Right, might right. Affect that. I'm like, bull crap, today is the day. I feel it in my bones, today's the day. Nope, cancel. Wow. Ah! <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> All right, and um, so three days go by, then how does that, how does that rock? What, okay, what's so three, uh, I had... I was signed up to play golf in a competition. I'm like, oh, crap, crud. I can't, I can't get out of this. Like, right. I, I can't. So I'm like, I'm going to have to watch it on the golf course. Thank God for data. Um, so, yeah, I just, I was super pumped up. Best golf I've ever played in my life. Uh, and I know it's just because Doug and Bob. I was like, my Doug mans, my mans. <laughs> ah, like, it's going <laughs> to. Well, from space. Yeah, I'm like, man, they're going so high up in the air. They're leaving their families just to do this for the U.S., just to do this for the world and give us some hope during coronavirus. So I better play the best thing golf I've ever played in my life, and it was so good. And, um, yeah, and I still – I was able to watch it, hearing it, and I was, like, they were, like, kind of, like, rushing us along because there's a lot of people playing. Right. And they're, like, spacing you out because corona and stuff like that. Uh, and I was like, I can't hit. This is about to happen in 20 seconds. I can't right. move my cart. Right. I don't know. What to, I don't know what to tell you. I got right, stuff yeah. to do. Yeah, but priorities. Priorities. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I hate. had my I had my uh, dad hold the phone and like turn the volume up, blasting it to where he was close enough to me where I wouldn't hit him, but you know, like yeah. I could still hear it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, after, after I, after I saw it launch and it left, uh, left our atmosphere, I was like, this is pretty spicy. I was like, I need to hear it at least just in case anything goes wrong. Not that anything's going to go wrong. It's picture perfect. I need to hear Bob and Doug. Oh, Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug. I'm going to need my kids, Bob and Doug. (laughs) Honestly, these are your heroes. These are heroes. All right. Straight. Um, (laughs) On Wednesday, woke up, uh, you know, head popped off the pillow, had the stream going. I was waiting for it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the live stream was there, but didn't start yet. Yeah. Uh, played, some, 
played some Kerbal Space Program to get my, my blood flowing with the rocket fuel. I had my setup. I had my um. I did an Instagram post actually, um, of me watching it. So that was my first real post. Woo! Follow me on Insta. Down in the description. <laughs> <laughs> just um, dude, I had my setup. I had three screens of different. I had Mission Control, SpaceX, and the um, Everyday Astronaut. Shout out! This is where I got the shirt. Um, you know, sponsored me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I mean, so pumped. You know, you go, what was it, seven, 17 minutes? 17 minutes until the guy canceled? And I was like, uh, and they said it was a 60% chance. And I was like, that's way too low for them to say yes. You know what I mean? Um, three days go by. Three long, dreaded days. Uh, you know, they're on the launch pad. We're all ready. Um, my dad had a NASA shirt. And I was like, oh, you're Jim Bryan's son. I'm Elon Musk because I had the dragon shirt. Um, so um, they launch. Your does your heart stop? Because when I watch, like my breathing goes up, I get cold. Um, I'm nervous. I'm shaking a little bit than usual. You, okay, if oh my you, gosh. What do you like? Okay, let's get. I didn't even build the dang topic, thing. But did, like, when you say you get cold, is it like your fingers and your toes like get cold, and then makes your whole body cold? Is like, how is it cold? Is it like, it's just, because I, there's an actual thing. It starts with an S. I forgot what it was called. It's a really long word. But it's, it's a really, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. Big dumb. But no, it's like, so basically your heart stops pumping blood to your toes and your fingers when you get really nervous or excited. And that happens to me all the time, <laughs> too often. And it's a real thing. And like my fingers but not warm because <laughs> my heart's That's like, nah, insane. dog, you don't need blood. It's fine. I don't know. I I think I just get my whole body temperature drops, maybe. Next time when a launch happens, I'll be like, you know, okay. All right. That's warm. <laughs> All right. No. Um, yeah. I My breathing goes up like crazy. I start shaking. I, my like, heart rate monitor. Like, oh, my gosh. It's like, <laughs> like you're yeah, a billion. <laughs> What was happening? Oh, it's like, yeah, are you working out right now? Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Um, in the landing, I love watching the landing. Oh my gosh! When the rocket, the uh, F nine, so comes on. down on the launch pad. Sadly, the video cut out. That's because you know sound, or not sound. Technically, the sound waves knocks out the connections. But when the video came back on, mm -hmm. you just see this beautiful um, statue of an F9 on a pad in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It was so perfect. How do you do that? <laughs> you don't want to tell you. Um, My dad was like, wait, how, wait, why, what's that? Why is that there? And I'm like, we'll see, Bob and Doug in space, <laughs> rocket engine come down. You know, like, <laughs> and I'm like, Dad, it's yeah, reusable, so they're not point. just gonna let it drop. They specifically have it designed to where it's gonna land on this pad in the middle of the right. ocean. That's how exact the science is. My dad's like, wait, how do they make that possible? Like, exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and that for is real. SpaceX for you, not yeah. NASA. Yeah. Woo! Got him. Um, uh, <laughs> but for anyone wondering, the accuracy of this is if you launch a pencil to the top of the Empire State Building, turn around and land on a shoebox. I believe that's the analogy. It might be a notepad, but that's the um the, the term that you know. Oh, oh my gosh, just think about that. I haven't seen the Empire State Building in person, but you know it's pretty high, and a pencil to land with that amount of accuracy. Magnificent, Elon. Magnificent. Um, what else? Do you know about um so here's the, the this is kind of the second biggest thing. You had Falcon Heavy in the crew mission. So Elon is working on um uh, Starship. Are you familiar with Starship? I am. What do you think of just what happened? What do you think happened? Like it blew up fourth time uh <laughs> it makes me so like it makes me so sad because like mm -hmm. i feel like elon deserves the world you know like 
Elon, <laughs> you know, like, Elon. I don't know, I don't know about you, but Elon is making my dreams come true right now. Like, yeah. dreams that I didn't, didn't even know I had. So, it's yes, just, I will <laughs> agree with that. I for, definitely agree. Yeah, for something, you know, um, like, he puts time and money into this, and I feel like you can really tell, it makes me so yeah. sad, but it's just kind of like. Yeah. Um, Luckily, no so casualties, we're, though. We're good there. Yes. Any known. Well. <laughs> we're not talking about that. <laughs> um, so, those who don't know, she's still living under a rock. Um, oh, Starship God. is a, uh, it's a big bus that goes to space. That's, you know, summing up. Um, so, what they're doing, basically, is making a prototype and three times in a row, they've had welding problems. And it would just leak, and it will implode, explode, uh, you know, leak liquid oxygen, and they had to restart. This time, liquid methane, they actually put a bulkhead on top to simulate the, um, the actual heaviness. Uh, they put liquid methane in it, which is the fuel, full flow station combustion cycle. Let's get it. Um, it leaked. Uh, and as we all know, liquid methane is extremely flammable. So any open flame will get yeeted, like big boom. Um, big boy boom. <laughs> and the engine wasn't fully off because you can see before it was it just like just ended. Um, ignites the bulkhead went flying. There's two sonic booms. What is Elon doing? <laughs> Come on, Elon, you're going to land a rocket booster, but you can't build a, a Starship prototype? What the heck, dude? Um, hey, you know, I'm not doing it, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, what do you think? Okay, this is going to bring up another thing. We all know Jeff Bezos. I'm pro- because I'm gonna, what I'm going to say is going to make my Amazon packages not arrive anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, he's doing Blue Origin. All right, another privatized commercial space company. How do you feel about what he's doing with his, um, uh, I don't know what it's called anymore, New Glenn, is it? I don't, I can't keep track of that guy. But essentially, what you got two different mindsets. You have study everything extensively and then show little progress or just start going at it and show, you know, try to, try to solve it solve the problem. I just keep on going at it. Because Jeff Bezos, I don't think he knows what he's doing. He doesn't like space. That's why he started Amazon. You know what I mean? Uh, and you got Elon over here, started SpaceX right after he got the money from PayPal. Um, you know, you got two different, you know, SpaceX just sent two people to the ISS, now Blue Origin. So that just proves what their, you know, mindset is basically. So how do you feel about Blue Origin? I feel like Jeff is just trying to stay relevant. The <laughs> last thing that got him in the news was his divorce. Divorce, and yeah. And half his money flying out the window. $38 billion. <laughs> Bye-bye. <For real. laughs> yeah. I mean, Still the richest man. Still the richest man. I don't know how he does yeah. it. I um, right. I So <laughs> I want to say it's unfortunate, but I don't care enough to really give him the time yes. of the day. Um, yes. I, I like, I love Amazon. It's a great company and it's really smart and it took skill to do that. But that same skill cannot be applied to space. It doesn't, doesn't work parallel. And my thing is Elon, he has uh, the intellectual gift of actually being able to contribute to the science being done. Unlike Jeff Bezos, which I will believe will be Hired scientists do all work. That's, okay. and then his name put on the side. That's that's all I right. register. I haven't really done much research on it. I just don't think it's worth it. Um, yeah. When he gets sure. something that works, let me know. Maybe I'll look into it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, but you have to look soon. at SpaceX compared to this. And like SpaceX mm-hmm. is setting private privately owned rockets chips and to a holy level and it's you're right nothing that jeff bezos can do because he wasn't the first although we've seen he's tried to be the first mm-hmm. and it's just not mm-hmm. 
he doesn't have the intelligence or the right. skill and the power. Probably the determination is also yeah. a big factor. Because Elon wants to get to Mars generally, regardless if he's a millionaire. For sure. Or billionaire? Probably. Who knows at this point? Yeah, um, billionaire. My thing is like, <laughs> Jeff, oh, Jeff has so much money. And I know he can pay to have thing, mm. to have a rocket done by tomorrow. You know, like it's that's a possibility. Right. But I don't think he personally wants to put the time into it. I think he's right. the, so. You know how like we, we have several different fish kinds of airlines. Yeah, we have yeah. different airlines, and you know, there's like this one's really big. You know, like this one's the, one of the first, one of the best, right. and stuff like that. There's, I feel like that's how it's going to be to get to Mars. It'll be mm-hmm. government owned. And then there will be privately owned Elon. Let's go. <laughs> yes, Elon. <laughs> Elon. I, like uh, I feel like Jeff Bezos is going to be the cheaper, uh, nonchalant, uh, and irrelevant version. Okay. If he ever gets to the point where he can develop anything like this. Of course, Jeff, I don't know what you're doing. Not that you're right. this. I don't really care if my Amazon packages come later. It's going to haunt us in the future. Like, you know what's like going on everywhere? Yeah, he's awesome. gonna come back on us. We're not gonna get our Amazon packages anymore. Dang it! One of us becomes um, like the CEO of Amazon. And just gotcha. <laughs> they find this. <laughs> um, and we also got um the other rich guy, Richard Branson, who's also trying to do the you know rich guy. I'm not aware of him. Who is to, this? Um, All right, well that's gonna be it for today's episode. Make sure you su- subscribe like and comment so you don't miss out um tomorrow or the next time you'll be viewing this um we're gonna have tiffany back and we're gonna do the second part of spacex make sure you guys stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching